What's up guys, it's Celeste, and it's hard to believe, but I have now been on low-dose testosterone for two months, so here is my update video. I'm gonna be going through a list of things that I have and have not seen changing in the last month, and it's gonna be the same stuff that I talked about in my one month update video. So the first thing is my voice. I definitely have noticed a little bit of a difference in my voice, how it sounds and how it feels, but I still don't, like when I listen back to myself comparing the audio, it still doesn't really sound that different to me. I've been making audio samples like pretty consistently since I started testosterone and um, like editing them back to back. So eventually I'll have kind of a timeline. Today is March 14th, 2017, and this is my voice pre-T. Today is May 14th, 2017, and this is my voice two months on T. But when I listen to them back to back, like I really cannot hear that much of a difference. Maybe a very slight difference, but it's not as pronounced as it feels like it is when I'm talking. Like when I'm talking now, I feel like I sound lower than I used to. It definitely is lowering. It's taking a little while, but that's good. I haven't really had any huge like voice cracking or anything like that, which Maybe because I just haven't gotten to that point yet, but it may also be because I am on such a low dose that it's happening more gradually. As far as my body, I have mentioned a couple times recently that I had been gaining weight even before I started taking tea. And after I started taking tea, like within that time, I think I've maybe gained like a couple pounds or something. It's not very much, but I've also been working out a lot. And so it's really hard for me to tell like what of that is muscle and what isn't and everything. Um, I haven't really noticed much difference in my body shape. I didn't think I had really noticed much of a difference in my face either, but now that I'm actually looking at my comparison pictures, I do see a difference. I do feel like my face looks less soft than it did before. And it's weird because like when I look at specific parts of my face, they don't really look that different, but I don't know, just kind of overall, it seems a little bit more defined somehow. My Acne has not really flared up much at all on my face, which is really surprising. Um, at the one month mark, I mentioned that it was flaring up a little bit, but after that, it kind of calmed back down and I haven't really had too much trouble with it. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. So you can see like I, well, you probably can see, I don't know how the light is washing things out, but I do have like a little bit here and like a few like red spots, but I don't really have any like actual like acne. Kind of issues on my face. On my chest and my back, I have gotten a little bit. It's not like super bad, but it's like just like kind of red and bumpy around like around like this area right here. And then um, like between my shoulder blades is kind of the area that I'm getting it. Um, so that's a little bit annoying, but it's not too bad yet. So hopefully it will not get any worse and it'll go away after a while. I also haven't really noticed any difference in facial or body hair or anything like that, which is good because I don't want any of that. As far as my mood and like personality kind of stuff, um, I maybe have noticed a little bit of difference there. It might be, it's kind of hard for me to tell as with all these things because I'm kind of looking for, for certain things and so obviously I'm biased. Um, you know, on whether or not this is actually happening or whether it's like a placebo effect kind of thing. But I feel like, especially within the last like week or so, I've really felt a lot more, it's not necessarily that I've felt more anger, but I feel less patient about the anger that I feel. And it's kind of weird because the perception that I think um, a lot of people have with testosterone is that it makes you like ragey. And I don't know if it does that to anybody, but most people that I've uh, heard talking about this say that it doesn't make them feel like that. But what this is actually like for me is like maybe an increase in anger, I'm not really sure, but the anger that I have felt has felt actually a lot more controlled than how anger usually feels for me. Most of the things that I've been angry about in the last week have not really been about me, they've been about things that my friends have been dealing with. And so I have this like protective anger kind of feeling. Um, and I have a very protective nature um, already. Like even when I'm like at my most personally anxious and timid and stuff, like I still like 
like if somebody else is is like um, being attacked or is like dealing with something, then like that's totally different than when I'm being attacked. Um, so I already have like this protective feeling uh, toward my friends, and so what I have felt in the last week has been like I've felt that, but it's it's kind of hard to describe. But I guess I just feel kind of like more done with people that are acting like jerks. Like I just I just don't feel like that there's that they're worth like the time and energy to get I don't know like not to get not get upset about it, but it's just like I just feel like like whatever like if they're gonna be like that then like they're not worth the time i don't know if i'm really describing it right but it's just a it's just a more like i don't know like i just i don't feel like it's affecting me as much but like i still am feeling the feelings like i still feel like i really want to protect my friends and like help my friends but i don't feel as affected by the anger itself or like i don't know it's it's hard to describe really um and I don't know if maybe this is what people were talking about when they've said things like that they felt more detached from their emotions or something. Um, I don't really feel detached from my emotions. I just don't feel as... I don't know. Like, it's... it's. I don't know what to say because it's not like I don't feel like I am affected by them or that they're not as strong or anything. It's not like I feel, like, numb or anything. It's just a different way of experiencing emotions, I guess. I don't know, it's weird. And again, that could be not even the testosterone, it could be just like a mood thing that I'm dealing with or like, I don't know, like just could be, I don't know, some other kind of change in my um, emotion, emotional state or something. And then the other two things that I'm gonna talk about are basically about my junk. So um, if you know me in real life, or if you don't want to know about these things, then you can probably stop watching here. Um, but if not, I will put a timestamp on here so you can know where to skip ahead to. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are the last things I'm going to talk about. And I'm not talking about these like to be like scandalous or something. Like I just, I feel like this might be informative to people because before I started testosterone, these were things that I was curious about and like didn't know who to ask. Um, so maybe this will be helpful. So I have noticed a little bit of growth in that area. Um, not like a lot and not, not even an amount that would be noticeable to anybody else. Like if anybody else saw me, um, they would just think that that was like my natural like body. I think I was probably already kind of unobtrusive or something in that area. I don't really know what to call it. Um, and it still is mostly kind of like that. Like there's nothing that is like, I don't know. This is kind of weird to talk about. It definitely is like somewhat enlarged and more noticeable to me, um, both in how it looks, but also mostly in how it feels. So that's the, uh, that's been kind of interesting. Um, because I do like I am I just feel like quite a more aware of it not like all the time but I feel like I feel it more um like more throughout the day like there's more times when I feel aware of it and that kind of ties into the other thing which is libido um I haven't really noticed an increase in libido necessarily on like a mental level um, where I consciously feel like more, I don't know, like more of a sex drive kind of thing, um, uh, which is how it is sometimes. But I have, because I am more aware of that area and because it's more like, um, sensitive and stuff right now, I have felt kind of more of a, I guess, drive to like deal with it and stuff. Um, this is so weird to talk about, oh my gosh. So it's more of like a physical thing that feels like it, um, it needs to be dealt with than something where I am like emotionally or mentally like wanting that. I don't know if that makes sense or not um, because I don't really know what having a sex drive is like for people who actually have sex or experience sexual attraction. Um, other than just like 
my idea of it. I don't know what it actually feels like. So for me, the way that having a sex drive feels is like very different because it doesn't it doesn't go toward anybody else. It's just kind of there, um, and it's just kind of like internal. So um, yeah. But for me, like there are times when it's more of like a mental emotional thing and then there are other times where it's just like a physical thing and this is more of a physical thing. So I really hope that was helpful to somebody to sort of justify my having to feel really weird right now. But I think that was pretty much it for the stuff I wanted to talk about and stuff that I have noticed since I've started testosterone. I emailed my doctor a couple of days ago to find out when I'm supposed to be having like blood tests done to check my T levels um, and I haven't heard back from them yet so I'm gonna call there tomorrow and I'm kinda curious about that. I also have been maybe not actually taking the exact right dose the last couple of weeks because my pharmacy was out of one milliliter syringes and so they only had three milliliter syringes which is like it's the right gauge needle and everything but it's a lot harder to measure a quarter milliliter on a three milliliter syringe because there's not actually a, a quarter milliliter mark it's like it's just like between lines basically so try I'm sort of trying to like eyeball it and I don't know, it's, it's just been a little bit more difficult. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get some more one milliliter syringes to make this a lot easier and get the right dosage. But if anything, I've been taking a little bit higher dose, but still not like 0.5 or anything. It's probably maybe like 0.3 or maybe 0.35 or something. So it's not like super much higher, but it's possibly a little bit higher than I was taking up until like a couple weeks ago. I think I've used these syringes three times, maybe. So for like the last three weeks, I've been doing this. Um, so it might not have been the exact right dosage the last three weeks. So hopefully I will talk to my doctor tomorrow and find out if I can get some syringes from them and also get my blood tested and everything like that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my future content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.